Good morning. I barely slept last night, but we're doing it all again. We don't know this is temporary. Maybe we'll last a January. I lost control when you call me, baby. Go down the road, you know you're coming with me. But I'll chase me. everyone welcome back to my channel first of all i just want to say thank you so much for all the support on my last video it's been a transitional period this last week or so and i could not figure out why i was feeling so down and to be honest i still don't really know why you know there's a bunch of different factors it's kind of funny to me because i feel like when i'm super busy and i'm just running around doing things studying out and about i don't have as much time to feel these feelings so i think it's important to acknowledge feelings of being sad or just being down and to give yourself the time and space to feel that way so I just want to say thank you guys all so much for your support and kindness on my last video i felt really safe to share how i was feeling and i can't thank you enough for your kind words and helping me to feel safe in that space it means so much to me to have such a great group of people on here anyway i just wanted to start off by first saying thank you um i'm still trying to find my groove and it's actually been kind of hard because i feel like this week has been pretty chill um i haven't had much to do in these last couple of hours so i've just been doing some more research and doing some reading and also just kind of sitting around and hanging out but i wanted to set an intention for today's video because my goal is to slowly get back into the groove of living and enjoying life but also giving myself space and time to feel these feelings and just to get back on my feet again for anyone else that may be feeling a little bit blue i just want to say it's totally normal we all have these moments and we just have to learn how to grow from it and how to give ourselves love and compassion during those periods of time i'm just going through a little bit of a blue phase but i know that i have a lot of people in my life that love me and there's a lot of great things to live for and i'm just feeling really grateful that being said i do have class in like two minutes so i probably need to log on to that med school update we are in our geriatrics unit we have a geriatrics assignment and for that assignment i think i'm going to be watching the movie up and writing a reflective essay on that i love the movie up makes me cry so many times um and just in general a lot of things make me cry but like older people make me cry a lot what a way to start off the video hey but anyway thank you so much for clicking in and i am going to go to class justin and i just ended off the work day with a workout together down in our building's gym i'm waiting for my turn to shower and in the meantime i got a really exciting package from aritzia it's a problem the minute i got the email that aritzia was launching fall my wallet hurts i just want more lounge wear i'm so often just at home studying like you guys you guys know you see me wear the same like three sweatshirts since time millennial and i just wanted to get some new comfy clothes so i got myself a sweat set i've been wanting one for so long and i just never bought myself one and i thought you know it's fall i want to be cozy so I just got myself a plain white set. I'm not gonna try it on right now because I'm sweaty, but I got the cozy fleece material and it's so soft. So I got myself some sweat shorts as well as this cropped sweatshirt. Oh man, I really wanna try it on, but I'm so gross right now. So I'll wait and I will try it on later, but. 
gonna be so cute so we just reheated some leftovers and i wanted to show you guys because i really like this meal it's a thai red curry noodle soup from pickup limes and it's topped with this crispy tofu and this is our second day of eating it and it's so good so the serving sizes are also super hearty and filling so this is my bowl and this is justin's bowl and now we're gonna eat dinner Saturday and what time is it? It's 7 30 last night. I went out for drinks with a few friends I only had one cocktail, but I was deranged and Alcohol just really impacts my sleep. So I barely slept last night um, But anyway, I got up at 6 30 because there was the possibility that I was going to be Shadowing a general surgeon on call today, but I texted her and she let me know that she has another clerk with her today who's also a learner so it wouldn't have been a great opportunity for me to shadow and to get mentored so that means that today I'm at home which is totally fine because I have a bit of work and just catching up that I need to do I'll take you guys through what my day is looking like but the first thing I'm going to do is to sit down and review the lectures from yesterday and to make some summary notes I also want to show you guys the set um, because I put it on and I really like it I really really like it it's made of this really thick and cozy fleece material so it's very warm and soft i feel like a polar bear wearing this i love the rise of the shorts i got the shorts in a small and then i got the cropped sweatshirt in an extra small i probably could have sized up but i wanted it to be a little bit more fitted and yeah i think it's really cute Hello again. So good. What? 
Oh, that's cool. Anyway, you should fail. Okay, you. thank you. So I took a quick break from studying and we went to the grocery store and I thought I would do a quick grocery haul because I love watching grocery hauls and I wanted to show you guys what we got. Here is the main bulk of our groceries. So I guess I'll start from this side. Justin got two Cliff Bars for snacks. We got some ground beef, turkey meat. Wait, no, this is ham. This is sandwich meat. We also got a rotisserie chicken because this week I'm planning on making a barbecue chicken pizza. So I'm just gonna shred some of this up. Um, also just have it for like lunches and stuff like that. We got a taco sauce, some orzo. We also got some spicy Tex-Mex shredded cheese. We got two of these to-go salads just because they're so easy for lunches. So we got one guacamole crunch and one Thai style chili mango. In terms of produce, we got one red onion, some tomatoes, green onion, some carrots, shallots, I got one green apple for baking, some mushrooms, avocados. We also got some frozen peas, and I think that's all for produce. We also got some full fat Greek yogurt, some olives, which I love olives. I'm honestly just gonna be eating these. Um, some smoked gouda, salted butter, eggs, and then I'm running out of flour, so I got some more all-purpose flour. And for snacks, Justin got some Boom Chicken Pop popcorn, and I got some plant-based cheddar baked corn puffs, which I've never tried, but I think they might taste good. And for cooking, we also got some just basic red wine, and because we have some orange juice, I got some Prosecco for myself so we can make mimosas. And I think that is all for groceries. I decided to also go to the library and I got a whole stack of books on my nightstand. This is kind of the books that I am interested in reading. I thought it'd be fun to just quickly walk you guys through my to read list. At the very top of the pile is Hard Times by Charles Dickens. I just started this book today. I'm like 10 pages in, but honestly, I love Charles Dickens writing. So this is the first book that I am currently reading. Next, I have Mort by Terry Pratchett. My boyfriend actually got me this book like two years ago, and I've just never really been super excited to pick it up, but he convinced me to give it a try. So I'm going to read this after I finish my book by Dickens. And today from the library, I picked up Frederick Bachman's Anxious People. I love Frederick Bachman's writing. I've read A Man Called Uwe or Ove, and I've also read Bear Town, which I both really loved. So I'm excited to read this book. I'm kind of expecting that this book will make me cry because Frederick Bachman always makes me cry, but I'm, I'm just super excited about this one. And then I have the second book of a trilogy. This is The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin. Um, if you guys saw my last book video, I talked a lot about the fifth season, which I really loved. So I picked up the second book and I'm excited to give it a read. So yeah, this is my very satisfying pile of books. <laughs> I always get asked how I'm able to still read in med school and honestly I just love reading it's something I like to do in my free time so anytime I really get a minute to sit down or if I want to do something before bed and I don't want to be on my phone I just pick up a book so it's actually pretty easy I try to do 30 to 40 pages a night if I don't have any other plans. Yeah, that's how I read. So as you guys can probably tell, this Saturday, I took a pretty prolonged and extended afternoon break, which was very much needed. Um, I only have two more tasks on my to-do list. So I'm going to go work on my research paper. Um, we are working on another round of edits and my PI wants me to make a new table. And I have some club stuff, recruitment and promotional materials that I need to make. I may or may not be in the OR tomorrow, so I might also try to get a head start on my to-do list for tomorrow, but we will see because I might also just want to chill. But anyway, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just going to put on some music, sit at the dining table, and get some work done. <laughs> Slow. 
So that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go edit this video and also get ready for the week ahead. Start working on a few assignments and stuff like that. I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!